Hello, students. This is Miss Nishu, and this is your personal loan assignment. So if you go to Google Classroom, you will see this handout. So you should open this up. And so what we're going to do is create this personal loan spreadsheet. And there's an expectation here that you apply past knowledge to new situations. So we already did a car loan spreadsheet. Um, and think when you borrow money, uh, what are the three variables that determine what your monthly payment is? So this is question one. So it's going to be pr the principal, which is the amount of money that you borrow, the interest rate, and then the term, how long the loan will be. So now what we need to do is determine what the formula will be for the monthly payment. So remember, all formulas begin with the equal sign. So we're going to type in equals PMT, which is an abbreviation for payment. The first variable is the interest rate, but that's the annual rate, so we need to divide that by 12. So that's located in cell B3, so it's B3 divided by 12. The second is the term, so that is in cell B4, and... We're going to multiply that by four uh, by 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So there will be 12 payments. And finally, the principal, how much money you borrow, which is located in cell B2. So that will be the formula you put here in, in monthly payment. And so what do the three variables represent? The first is the interest rate. That's this. The second is the term. And the third is the principal. Okay, so next, what's the cell for formula B6? We're going to be paying back, of course, more than we borrow. That's how banks make their money. So we'll be having 12 payments of the monthly payments. So the formula is equals, and then the monthly payment is going to be located in cell B5 times the term times 12. So we're going to have 12 of those monthly payments. So that is what belongs in cell B6. And then in cell B7 is how much is the finance charge. This is the dollar amount of interest that uh, the bank will make. So that's going to be the amount of that you pay back in total minus what you borrowed. So that's going to be equals B6 minus B2. So let's see if we can apply this to your financial plan. And here it is. So you're going to enter this in, okay, um, and enter in all the formulas here. Does that make sense? Okay. So what we also need to do is link um, the amount of your monthly payment to your career budget. So this is located in cell B5. You've got to remember that. So we're going to go to your career budget. Let's see if I can find that. Let's just assume this right here is the career budget. So we're going to find your personal loan, and we're going to type it in here. Personal loan, it will be a fixed expense because it remains the same from month to month. You're going to type in equals the name of the sheet that you're copying from, so apostrophe, personal, loan, apostrophe, and then at exclamation B, um, dollar sign B, um, dollar sign 5, which is the, um, the cell. So equals, and that should do it. Let's see if it did. Yep, so it took the amount from your personal loan and linked it. Okay. Um, the other part of the assignment, hopefully I have time to tell you this, is figuring out the amortization schedule. So what you need to do here is you go to this website and um, I'm actually going to run out of time so I will show you this in a second screencast. But for now Make sure you do your personal loan and make sure that you link it. This is how you link. Link it to your career budget. Okay? Thank you for listening and having a great day.